It was a bromance that lasted only one summer. René Magritte and Salvador Dali met in Paris. They fell in love with serialism and spent one memorable holiday obsessing over it in the romantic seaside town of Caracas. But soon after, the passion faded and the two artists grew further and further apart. That is, until today. The Brussels Museum of Fine Art has just launched the biggest ever exhibition dedicated to Dali and Magritte. It's a celebration of the artistic relationship that existed between the two greatest icons of the 20th century surrealist movement. For the first time, they're on show together through a monographic exhibit of this kind. The goal is not to show that one influenced the other, that one taught some things to the other. It's rather to tell the story of a flirt, the flirt between two people who we don't expect to like each other. Dali and Magritte met in 1929 in Paris, home to the surrealist artists of the 1920s, and the birthplace of the Surrealist Manifesto, written by poet André Breton. In short, the intellectual movement was aimed at freeing the human mind from the chains of rational thinking. In the art world, this translated into dreamlike artworks like that of Dali and Magritte's. Theirs and the work of their contemporaries unlocked the imagination and gave way to fantasy, challenging our perception of the world around us. But not long after their visit to Dali's house in Spain, the two artists started drifting apart. They had very different personalities and they disagreed on their approaches to money and fame. It was a short-lived friendship but from it was born something of an artistic symbiosis. Like, for example, the objects that catch fire. It's something that Dali borrows. And at the same time, there's a distance between them because the two men have totally different personalities. There's a withdrawn side to Magritte. Dali has a Baroque personality. He plays somehow with madness. So they're not friends, but their works show there was mutual respect between them. And however outlandish and even deranged some of their artworks appear, to this day they are referenced in from global fashion houses and advertising campaigns to video games and virtual reality. Surrealism today continues to have a large influence on the general public because the movement aims to show how the brain, how the thought process really works. Without imposing limits to this exploration, it opens the door to the subconscious and our most avowed or unavowed desires. And perhaps it is not only Dali and Magritte's artistic dialogue that rendered them so jointly unique, but also their shared talent for remaining contemporary, relevant and relatable. And so, despite their bromance blooming too early, their work will never go out of fashion. <laughs>